Hello everybody. Now just a quick update. I was very poorly over Christmas. I got the Aussie flu and that knocked me out for five weeks, which means I'm well behind on my filming and I've effectively run out of things to show you. So anyway, fortunately I'm back and I'm fit and I'm about to go out in the field and see if I can find some more stuff. So come along with me and let's see what we can find. Now this is a huge rooster, one of our little chicks last year. Now a big bird. And this is one of our little old ladies. She's in her retirement home here and uh, she's just hanging out. And uh, we take her to the roost in the evening and put her up on her perch. Which is very old, she's nearly six years old, this one. We love our chickens. And our turkeys. So we're off on the shiny shovel looking for trouble. Or in this case, bent metal. Well, this is a huge 95. <laughs> which is just huge and it's right by the car. So I wonder what it could be. Big bottle top, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Yes, a big bottle top. <laughs> it is. No wonder it was 95. Let's find of the day, a lead button. Now, some people say these are dress weights. And they could be, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, it's either a button or a dress weight. Either way, it's the first. There you go. A bit of a silver coin, yes! Now, it doesn't look very silver, but it's very thin and it's shattered. And that's kind of like a sign of some of the silver coins, because they get quite fragile. And obviously they're very thin, because they're silver. And if they get hit, bang, they get shattered into bits. So, first nice find of the day. A bit of a silver coin, I think. And if I can make out any detail on it, I'll tell you a bit more about it later. Well, you've got to dig it all, and you've got to film it all, even if the wind's blowing. So, this was a 55, and I thought, ah, oh, bound to be aluminium. Nope, not aluminium in aluminium at all. A buckle, I think. I think it's a buckle. Might not be, but it's a top of a something. It's a little bronze piece. 1800s, 1700s. So, nice. And not aluminium in aluminium. Well, Flintstone lovers, you tell me. Is this just a chipping or is this an old works point? In the back it goes anyway. Well, whatever it is, it's a good signal. It's in here, roughly. And there it is. It's a big coppery thing. Now, what it's such a good deep signal. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Let's go get it. Well, it's a big lump. Oh, I think that's a weight. I hope it's a weight, not a shell. Yeah, no, that's a weight, look at that. Oh yeah. So that's a trade weight. A big one too, look at that, wow. Well, it might have the weight on the bottom here. I can't actually read it. You might be able to read it better than me. But wherever it is, it's going to be grams. So that's mid-1800s, I should think. Nice. A very nice trade weight. That's more like it. We're liking that. Worth a try this one, not a bad signal. We're only a few feet away from that trade weight. Well, maybe 30 paces. So I'm hoping we might have a little hot spot here. I'm liking the ground, it's nice and flat and slightly sandy. So I might have had a good bit of activity because it was easy going. Right, let's see. I can't see it. What's that? Is that iron ring? Yeah, it's the good old fashioned iron ring.
Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. Hold on, let's get it. There you go. Now, really, I shouldn't show this as much as contempt as I just did, or a lot of other people do, because this would have been a bit of horse tackle. That would have not been cheap. That's probably a buckle, like maybe on the side of a horse like that. Part of a bit. And obviously, when the horse went obsolete, they just threw their tackle away. In fact, I found a whole horse harness with all its buckles in a field once. And they were all copper buckles, but um, and there was like 20 of them. The farmer had obviously just thrown the whole lot away in the field and just left it there. Because there's no use anymore, because they were getting rid of all the horses, and who needs a bridle then? And this would have been part of that, I should think. They just threw it away. Well, there you go, ammo fans. I just found a 2-2 bullet. A 2-2 air gun bullet. How about that for tiny? I must be getting out of practice with treasure. I'm not finding much, and it's been hours now, and I'm getting pooped. But I have got a lot hinging on it. There you are, a bit of a hinge. Better than now, just about. Interesting hinge though, don't you think? Very regular. Hmm. If you think it's something more than I think, post below. By the way, everybody, I'm loving your comments. Thanks so much for them. Makes my day to see them. Now, I'm hoping there's something in here. It wasn't quite obvious enough to be something like a big copper coin, but it's a decent signal, so we're doing it live. Otherwise, I'm not going to have much of a video for you. Well, I know you'll enjoy it anyway, but nothing like to have a decent find to go along. And then, you know, maybe I can get a clickbait title for it. You've got to have a clickbait title, come on. Otherwise no one's going to come and look at your stuff. I mean, you've got to do it. I mean, look at how many subscribers I haven't got. 13,000 in four years. I mean, you've got to get the clickbait going. Otherwise, you're never going to get more than like a thousand views. And that, you know, it's pretty sad, really. But anyway, we're doing okay. We've got two and a half thousand, three and a half thousand, four thousand three and a half thousand, four thousand views on every video we're doing. So, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. But you do need the clickbait. I wonder which one I'm going to use for this title. Massive treasure found by naked people. Do you think that'll work? I think that'll work. But anyway, let's go see what we found. <laughs> okay, pinpointer, let's have a look.
I don't think trash found by clothed person is going to draw the masses. 